was the one who organised the F3 career events. Um, so I was the one uh, who got in touch with CIRT uh, because last year we had someone who could come and participate in the event and then I um, contacted uh, several partners um, like Harper Collins, the British Council, the Guta Institute and then I put in place um, a morning event for F3 pupils so they had some speakers first of all and afterwards they went to four different workshops and they ended up with a wee keynote um, and then the second part of my involvement into the, um, the award was to actually coordinate all the different events so we decided to do it through five events and uh, I was in touch with all the different teachers in the department and outside the department as well asking them for evidence, uh, photos and um, everything they had like feedback from the pupils and once I had all of that I put all of that together and sent it to CERT. I would say it was really easy and doable. Um, the Kerry event, uh, first of all, is something I've been doing through, like for the past five years. So I have to say I've got a wee bank of partners that um, I don't hesitate to contact when I need them and they're more than willing to come and help us. Um, then the organization on the day is hard the first time but once you've done it a couple of times you know how to organize it and then uh, organizing all the events and coordinating all the events is actually something quite easy because it's what we do all the time so it's just uh, uh, knowing in advance that we're going to do it and get a folder with everything put in it so um, I would certainly recommend it to people and um, they shouldn't be worried about giving them extra work but because if you are organised it definitely does not give you uh, more work. After the Kerry event we really noticed a change in the mind of the pupils and um, and even their involvement in class, they started to realise that we don't just learn a language for learning a language, there's a lot of different things around the language. And having seen um, the importance of the language in a different business, uh, we also had a, a, a professional footballer, so it attracted the boys. Um, so it did um, change their mind, the ideas of it, and it had a very good um, impact on uh, uptake in languages um, in French and Spanish and German um, so it was something very good. Um, we took some pupils as well with us when we got the award and, and from out of this pupil it, it, really, it, it showed them that schools is not, languages sorry, it's not just at school, it's outside um, so that had a very good impact on them. So if they are uh, the teacher organising events, I would say re like think about all the events you are organising through the years and you will start realising that things you do naturally can be presented for the award, so it's not more work. Uh, if you are the coordinator of this award, I will recommend them to be really well organised and not to to think carefully which event and which project they want to send through and uh, get all the evidence at the moment of um, the event because we organised all these events and then we decided to send all of that for the awards which made me going back to a few months before and getting all the paperwork. Um, so if you know that you want to go through the event just have a folder, get everything like photos, um, link as well on social medias, uh, all the emails, the communication you had with your partners, all the feedback from your pupils, well organised at the moment and then it's really easy and, and really good actually. It also shows the rest of the school um, the importance of languages so I would recommend that for everyone.